and check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking out to the northeast there. Still a lot of sunshine out there, although it's saying mostly cloudy. We've got a little bit of cloud, a little bit of sun. 11 degrees is where we're at right now. That is our daytime high. Our low was at minus 6 at uh, 5 a.m. Winds are still out of the northeast, but even with that, just the fact that we're getting a lot of sunshine making its way down to the surface is the reason that the temperatures are so mild. Average for Lethbridge at this time of year is 9 degrees, so we're certainly exceeding that number, and we will continue to do so in the ensuing days. Although just even like I said to Jackie just a few hours ago, it looked like we could have a really good chance of seeing some late afternoon, early evening thunder showers. It looks like it's a very small chance at this point. It looks like you folks in southeastern BC have a greater chance of seeing that late in the day tomorrow, but we do have an area of high pressure that is continuing to build on this side of the Continental Divide. It looked like it was breaking down a little bit earlier today, but it's just got a, another boost of strength. So it looks like it's going to be fairly um, healthy tomorrow. Now, there is some mid-level cloud that's going to be moving through, and there's a pocket of low pressure to the north, so areas north of Edmonton could be seeing some of that uh, snow mix with shower activity late in the day tomorrow. But here in the south, it looks like we'll just see that high, thin cloud move across, and then uh, areas uh, to the west of the Continental Divide, you folks in Cranbrook, could be seeing some late-day shower, possibly a thunder shower activity tomorrow. Zero in St. John's right now. Major low pressure center has just, it looked like it was fading and then it gathered some more oomph. So it's just off the coastal areas, but the expanse of it, the rotation, is kicking cloud cover all the way back into southern Ontario, into Toronto, Ottawa, and even into southern Quebec, into Montreal and Quebec City. And then we've got some freezing drizzle as you head further east uh, in Atlantic Canada from the same system. Minus three degrees and sunny in Winnipeg. We've got sunshine through Saskatchewan, sunny in Alberta as well. We've got 12 degrees and a sun and cloud mix on the coast. We've got some blowing snow possibilities once again for the Whitehorse area, and that could transition into Yellowknife overnight tonight with a low pressure center moving across that area. East Kootenai, partly cloudy tonight, two for a low, 12 degrees for a high tomorrow. They'll have some sunny breaks, but it's that late in the day instability. You could be picking up a shower or a thunder shower. Crow's Nest Pass looks like the same scenario. You have a small chance of that late day instability moving across. Winds will be out of the west at about 30 kilometers per hour but the bulk of the day will be beautiful. Medicine Hat, partly cloudy tonight. Cloudy for the most part tomorrow. It looks like total cloud cover there, but right now it looks like you'll be seeing some sunny breaks tomorrow in the mix. Nice temperature at 10 degrees, and here in Lethbridge, uh, sky's turning a little cloudy overnight tonight, and then we have that small chance of seeing some instability late in the day tomorrow. But temperatures right now look to be 12 degrees tomorrow, not Nine. So you can see that that stability seems to be sort of getting another boost uh, in the last few hours. So small chance of that precipitation tomorrow. Good Friday is looking sunny. We've got sunshine all the way through the weekend. And then by Tuesday, we could be seeing some precipitation, maybe some showers, maybe some flurries, but that's far away. So we'll deal with that when we talk about the forecast tomorrow. We'll be keeping an eye on that system. Now, live better. Yes, the debate has ensued for generations. When is the best time to exercise? Experts now are showing that late in the afternoon or early in the evening when your muscles are already kind of warmed up is the best time to do it, but not too late in the evening because you don't want to get so energized that you can't sleep. So that's our Live Better tip for this week.